right, here we are again for another Survival Shelters video. I've kind of been on a, a streak of them. You know, we've been doing all different types of shelters, and I wanted to cover a simple shelter that doesn't take a, a, just a ton of work and that can be thrown together fairly quickly. It does have some limited uses. It's not my favorite shelter as far as comfort's concerned, but we're going to talk a little bit today about swamp beds. And obviously we're not in a swamp, but platform beds can be built anywhere, and used, you can use any type of materials. Very simple, you find three or four trees that are in a good location for you. You lash one that's real sturdy on one side, another real sturdy one on the other side. Make sure that it's level. And another thing that re you really need to pay attention to is it needs to be straight. If you've got a lot of you know ups and downs in your actual little header board that you've got here, then you're gonna have problems sleeping on it because it's gonna have ups and downs and it's gonna make your bed have waves. So find two really straight, sturdy sticks to lash, and then, um, then you're, this isn't lashed yet, and this is uneven. But you're basically going to just essentially create a platform that raises you up off the ground. And the one reason I like this shelter versus some other shelters is I can build a platform fire on top of this. So after we get done with all this, I'm going to show you how you can build a suspended fire on this right, shelter So we got also. the platform built. Now this shelter without a bow saw or some kind of uh, a decent hand saw would take you a while to build, especially with hardwoods like this. But this is a camp structure and it doesn't have to be this nice for survival purposes. But all we've done is strap a main uh, cross piece on both sides so that we could make a platform. But the single most thing, uh, important thing to remember when you're doing this is that your logs need to be jam packed together all the way to the end. And they don't need to overhang because when you're trying to get into this thing, if your logs overhang, your legs are going to be hitting on them and then they're going to pop up and you're going to be knocking them out of place continuously, you know, as you're trying to live in your shelter. So trim them off to where you're not hitting them. And then here towards the end, we're going to build a suspended fireplace and we're going to, we're basically taking clay that we dug right out of the side of the hill added a little bit of water to it. You don't have to finally purify it like you do for making pottery. And we're basically going to make just a nice little fireplace that we can cook our food on all right, right here. So after you get your clay mixed up, basically all you're going to want to do is, is dig out some creek side, whatever, whatever you can use to make a platform that's not going to burn. Clay is not the only option. There's other stuff out there, but clay is the best bet. So you just dig it out, mix it with a little bit of water and set it up here. Now we did something a little custom here. This is probably a little over the top for a survival shelter, but we like to throw in little extra tidbits for learning experience. So you're going to have a fireplace here. It's going to be your small little teepee type fire. And right over here is a little drying platform. And this is where you'll throw stuff, you know, like your, your meats or, or whatever you want to dry out. And then what you do to, to add some dual purpose to it, this is taken from making a Chippewa kitchen. This is something the Indians used to do, is they would take their, their clay little cooktops. If I can pull this off without it sticking too much. It's super sticky. Yeah. Basically what I'm doing is I'm making an indention to where the bowl will, there's a bowl will form under it. So I can take the hot coals from here and I can feed them underneath in this little indention that I'm going to make, and I'll smooth it out more as the video goes along. And you just take your coals from here, place them in here, and then you can set your cooktop or your, uh, you know, your cookware right on top of the coals, and you basically have a ready-made heat source, just like you'd have you know, on the stove at your home. So the next step is we're going to form all this up, and that'll be about it. So here is our little custom fireplace that we've created, our suspended fireplace up off the ground for our swamp bed. We've got our little uh, cooktop right here that we'll throw our coals into. You just take the coals from here, set them in here, and you can set your pots and pans or whatever you've got, primitive pottery. You can cook it right on that. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can make this more comfortable. You can add sidewalls to this and actually fill it in with debris. Um, just a million different ways that you can rig it up. But all in all, this is a good shelter to know and, and to have into your, in your toolbox, you know, when you're in a real wet area or you're dealing with, with bugs. 
One of the, the main shelters that people in Australia use is this exact bed right here. And basically they'll make another top piece uh, across the top and they'll take eucalyptus bark, strip it off just like you would see um, like a birch bark, and they'll make a roof over this and it'll be completely rainproof. And to, um, they have a big problem with malaria over there. So during the night, they'll, they'll cover the top of this to where it's kind of smoke proof with different types of leaves. And then they'll make smudge fires underneath them in order to be able to ward off the mosquitoes. Because, you know, once you get malaria, it never goes away. I mean, you get rid of the symptoms, but they're always reoccurring. So it is a huge, huge deal if you do not have a mosquito net and you're in areas where there's malaria and different types of bugs, that you have these skills in your toolbox, you know, to, to make sure that you're going to be safe. So... Anyways, you know, go out, try these things, build them. Uh, we're going to keep doing these shelter building videos. And, you know, please help support us by subscribing. And add any kind of commentary. If you see something that can be improved upon, don't hesitate to tell us. Thanks.